You know, in our culture, it is wildly offensive to dress little girls up in lots of makeup and parade them around, and it should be seen as offensive, but it's beautiful and brave to do the exact same thing to a little boy. Noella McMayer is a 10-year-old trans kid and is the youngest to ever walk the runway in New York. Noella's biological mother now identifies as non-binary and has a spouse who also identifies that way and gave birth to Noella's sibling. The McMayer family is passionate about trans activism and sources say that the newest addition to the family is going to be raised gender neutral. S.A. They be. From Out Magazine, six years after she began transitioning, Noella has made history as the youngest out trans model ever to walk a runway during New York Fashion Week. Noella doesn't get nervous or scared by anything. She's a tiny professional, Noella's mother, Dee McMahon, told Metro UK. She was so excited to go down the catwalk, excited to see all the people and the cameras. She knows exactly how to work a crowd. We're so proud of Noella for being the first trans child in New York Fashion Week. We are in O with her confidence and determination, she continued. Noella already has so many transgender people of all ages contact her for advice, support. The kid is 10. How can a 10-year-old kid give out advice to people of all ages? According to her parents, Noella started saying she wasn't a boy when she was just two years old. At four, she went to therapy and declared to the doctor that she was a girl. Why bring a four-year-old boy to the doctor just because he's saying silly things? And why would you bring in a third part to a, a private family matter? I mean, the parents obviously wanted to receive attention. In my opinion, let two-year-old boys play with dresses and dolls without thinking there's something wrong. But maybe I'm just too progressive. While her parents believe she's too young to medically transition, she socially transitioned at four and at seven legally changed her name. That's also when she started her modeling career. So at the age of seven, the parents became ignorant by not letting their son express himself freely, but rather change his legal documents to the opposite sex, forcing him into a new box and using the child's new self-claimed minority status for money and fame. Bravo. Even though it is reversible, I don't think that children should get their legal documents changed to the opposite sex. Legal documents of a child is in general in the hands of the parents anyways. So if you really think about it, is it the child's need or the parents? A legal sex change, or whatever you want to call it, is a slippery slope. And I know that the parents of Noella don't want to give Noella puberty blockers or cross-sex hormones right now, but let's give it a few years. Let's wait until Noella asks for it. Are they gonna say no then? The way I look at this case is apparently the child knows best and we have to listen to the child and what they claim to need. And according to woke gender ideology that the family clearly follows, Noella is a girl on the inside. That's like a factual thing. And all she has to do is to go through medical procedures in order to correct the mistake that she was a boy on the outside. And I know I just said that it's common gender woke ideology, but I have a feeling that most people in real life, they think that's what transsexualism is all about, but, but it's not. My soul is not male. It's not facts that I'm a man on the inside and it was not a fact or a mistake that I was born a girl. The only mistake is that I was born with gender dysphoria that made it for me personally impossible to live as my biological sex. And that's it. That's all it is. Taking a look at Noelle's Instagram account, it's obvious that Noelle's parents are behind it. Trans Awareness Week. Today's lesson, not all birthing people are women. Both of my parents are transmasculine and use they them pronouns. My appa carried my brother and I and my Ima had my baby sibling this year. Neither of them are women. I love our queer family. Oh, that's a great argument. 
I know someone who used different pronouns, therefore it changes basic biology, facts, and common sense. No matter what your parents identify as, they're still women. Them giving birth is a big indicator. To me, teaching a child that you can identify your way out of reality and you can adapt delusional beliefs, it's really immoral. Speaking of the parents' gender identity, the parents came out after the child did. And before you think, well, that means that the parents didn't inspire the child to be trans. Let's remember, when did the child come out again? At age two. The concept of coming out isn't something a two-year-old or a four-year-old would ever understand. So maybe the kid didn't get inspired by the parents' gender identity, but the parents did put the trans idea into the child's head. All I see is a child posing in front of the camera because they're used to receive positive validation. Look, there's no such thing as a trans child. There are children who experience symptoms of gender dysphoria, sure, but studies conclude that the vast majority of the kids grow out of it. I love when people ask me, how do you know if gender dysphoria is chronic or a temporary issue? Some adults, they regret their transition, so it's not the age that determines if it's chronic. That argument is even a bigger proof of how children should not go through a medical transition. Because if adults can make mistakes, imagine what will happen to kids. Also, no matter what, adults regret decisions they've made. But with an 18 plus limit on the medical transition, kids are allowed to be more free, to express however they want, before making the life-altering decision. I definitely think that Noella's parents are using Noella for money and fame. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. That is what happens. Those people do exist. It, you don't see it a lot and that's why I was a little hesitant making this video because I don't want to cover very crazy stories that's not relevant, that's so far away from real life, but it's a real thing that parents, they see their two-year-old or four-year-old son play with dolls and then automatically think that kid is trans. And that's why I'm making this video. It's so ironic that the moral superiors, the woke and progressives can't accept that a little boy can play with dolls and dresses and still be a boy. And I feel so sad for the child that they have to grow up with trans ideology. I mean, look at the child's room. The child's life only contains trans, 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 trans. That's very f***ed up. And also putting makeup on a child, I can't. No matter if it's a boy or girl, putting makeup on a child, putting them on the runway in front of adults in cameras, I think it's creepy, but that's just my opinion. Thank you all for watching this video. Leave a comment down below what you think of the McMayer family. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.